Okay. Okay, take a deep breath. All right, so if you're new here, my name is Matt Um I speak, write, and talk about non-dual awareness. And I am a facilitator of conversations about non-dual awareness. Um, today might be a little bit teachy because I'm giving you an introduction to A Course in Miracles. If you want something a little bit more, or just more, you can go onto my YouTube channel. I have tons of YouTubes, and you can go to the YouTube channel, and you can search for my my biggest... Um, I even put it in the Substack. It's in the Substack um, video I ever did because it's called A Course in Miracles, A Beginner's Guide. You can listen to that, okay? So... Let's go. Um, all right. All right. So this is A Course in Miracles. A Course in Miracles. This is mine that's been duct taped and highlighted and all of that. So just very quickly, I have been a student and a teacher of A Course in Miracles for 41 years. And 40, whatever, it's 40 or something years. So... Um, a Course in Miracles is a non-duality text. A Course in Miracles is a non-duality text. What, is, what do I mean when I say it's a non-duality text? I mean that um, A Course in Miracles will state that only love is real. Only love is real. I'm going to put a caveat on that because I think it's important to say only unconditional love is real. And this is very important for what's happening in the world today. So only unconditional love is real. So when I say unconditional love, I mean that what it's what the Course in Miracles is trying to help us to do is to have a radical paradigm shift, a radical paradigm shift. And that shift is between personal subjective love, personal subjective opinions, personal subjective experiences, to unconditional love, unconditional seeing of what the truth is, without a story, without your ideas, without your opinions, right? And that is where the work is. Because the Course of Miracles would state that only love is real, and your only job is to see and remove, sometimes seeing does remove, the blocks to the presence of love. Because unconditional love, unconditional love is always there. What is unconditional love? Unconditional love is accepting everything as it is. There is a war happening. <laughs> There's many wars happening, right? There's also love happening. There's growth happening. There's destruction happening. There's pain happening. There is advancement happening. There is failure happening. It is happening. It is happening. It is happening. That's unconditional love. Conditional love is, is well, that's happening, but I don't want it to happen. It doesn't, you can have an opinion about it, right? But it's taking away from seeing what's there, right? So let's get back to the course. So the course is, is basically three sections. One is a text, one is 365 lessons, and then at the end, there's something called the manual for teachers. There's some other supplements too, but these are the main the main books of A Course in Miracles. Now, A Course in Miracles is not a religion. It's not a religion. A Course in Miracles is a spiritual mind training through a spiritual text. Now, a spirit, this is not a self-help book. No self-help book. Well, because you don't need any help. <laughs> Your ego might need help, but you don't need any help. So it's not a self-help book. So this isn't like reading even a Marianne Williamson book. It's not like reading a Wayne Dyer book. It's not like reading any of the other whatever books. It's not a self-help book. This is a spiritual text. And what is a spiritual text? How is it different than a self-help book? It's different in that it is a study and it is a mystical study. When I say mystical, a mystical path 
asks you to, as I said earlier, ask you to look at the principle and then look into the world and see how that principle is being reflected in the world and how you are interacting with that with that um that principle or if you didn't even know that principle then you will start to see that principle happening in the world and then it gives you really one of the biggest things in a course of miracles it talks about the ability to choose again choose again choose again choose again so whereas before you might say they're horrible people and that, 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 whatever happened. I'm just being extreme. Instead, you take a breath and you go, wait a second. I'm giving the meaning to those people. And that meaning is coming from my culture, my familial culture, my societal culture, um, my personal experiences, which is all what? Subjective, subjective, subjective. It's not the real. That's not who they really are. You are projecting it onto them. And that is where suffering is. Suffering is in projecting your ideas, your concepts, your experiences onto a group of people, a situation, or yourself, right? So when The Course in Miracles is talking about being able to... Um, re-identify who, who you think you are when it's talking about discovering the truth of who you are, which is, it, it refers to that a lot. This is what it's talking about, to identify the blocks to the presence of unconditional love. And those blocks are many in most people in the illusion. What this helps you to do, and I'll get into some detail in a second, it helps you to slowly methodically and actually I think beautifully do is to dismantle a thought system based on separation and based on fear, right? All fear comes from the egoic mind. Unconditional love obviously does not have fear. It's unconditional love. So there's nothing wrong with fear at all. So you're moving from a a thought system based on fear, basically, to a thought system that's based on unconditional acceptance and love. That's what it is. And you might understand that intellectually, you might have seen 50 memes about it, <laughs> but when you actually have to do it, it's a whole other ball of wax. And that's what The Course in Miracles helps you to do. It methodically helps you to go, this is what I, how I see The Course in Miracles. I mean, I see it many ways, but I see it that it goes that the mind, which is a tool, which is not who you are, the mind begins to go click, 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 click. And when enough clicks start happening, you are not the same person. You are you do not react the same way. You do not see things the same way. You do not judge yourself the same way. You do not judge the world the same way. You see things as they are. You can still have an opinion, but you are not completely connected with your opinion anymore. You are not your opinion. You just there's an opinion happening for a character. That's it. And when that happens, you get what the goal of A Course in Miracles is, is true inner peace. When you have true inner peace, then guess what falls away? Fear falls away. The fear might be there, but you're not connected with it. You don't identify with it. There's something else going on. And that something else is going on that you're starting, that you begin to wake up to is that there is an unconditional love happening and it's life itself life isn't going oh i don't like max so i will flood his house <laughs> there's just a flood happening in max's house that's it that is it traditional this is why it's not a religion because a religion is dualistic religions are dualistic there is a God up here 
and there is everyone down here, basically. And it's saying that somehow you have to be worthy of this up here. You have to change your behaviors to be worthy of this down here, or you have to change your behaviors to even be aware of this, right? That's not true. That is not true. It's always happening. You're always in the flow. You just forgot. You have a split mind. The split mind is saying, oh, but this I need to control and this I want this way and I want me to be this way. And it's that rugged individualism that's very much propagated in American culture, which is fine. But it leads you to what? Separation, separation, separation. Competition, competition, competition. So you're not just in competition with the world, with your job, with your friends, with your enemies. You're in competition with you. So you have what? What? Internal conflict. I could be better. I should be better. Something's wrong with me. So something's good with me. I'm good. I'm bad. An angel, a devil, blah, 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 blah. That is separation. That's dualism. And that is why religion preys on the seeker. Wow. What do I need? I need something. I need something. This is a non-dual teaching that's always going to bring you back to what's already here, not what you need to be, not what you need to do. There's no dogma in this. There are principles that help you to realize the truth of who you are, but there's no dogma that says, don't ever do that. There's no Ten Commandments in The Course in Miracles, right? So, A Course in Miracles is a study, right? So so it's not something most people, if you're new to A Course in Miracles, will pick it up and they'll be like, what the f*** is this talking about? Because <laughs> it's written a very specific way. And I will tell you this, and you don't have to be a Christian, that when this was channeled through a woman named Helen Shookman, it was the channeled... Um, it was, how do I say this? It's the voice of Jesus, basically, basically. But you don't have to be a Christian. People from all religions practice, of course, in miracles. It doesn't even matter. Jesus is barely, the word Jesus is barely mentioned. And But you understand the concepts. You understand the concepts, right? So when you do this, this is why I've come back to it over and over and over, is that you will... The, the you that you think you are is going to start to go away and something else begins to happen. I cannot, that's when it starts to change and things start to, and this could happen, you know, by reading one lesson. Could, usually doesn't. Um, or it could happen after a few years when you're like, what? Something's happening, right? This character recently has had a big, huge shift in the last few years. So this character has had a shift. So I I say that because it's a character. It's not the truth of who I am. It's not the truth of this, right? This is this. Is this. So A Course in Miracles is, the to me, one of the, the most reliable and best ways to begin to shed that skin of those, of that false self and come back to true unconditional love, right? And you study it, and you study it, and you practice it. And the, the middle section of A Course in Miracles, which are the 365 lessons, are the best way to start, if you don't know where to start. You just start at the lessons, and it doesn't matter, you don't have to be at the beginning of the year. You start at the lessons, and you just read one lesson a day, one lesson a day, one lesson a day, and what will start to happen is after a while, you will start to be like, oh my God, something's happening. It might be challenging, but something will happen. That's why I believe in The Course of Miracles so much. Now, I'm not gonna go into all the details, but let's, I'm gonna stay here because I came late, stay here a little bit longer with you. So I wanna hear comments and questions or anything about A Course of Miracles. And if you're new, definitely. And this is the time I can ask you if you would like to make a donation. If you'd like to make a donation, I greatly appreciate it because 
this is what I do for a living. Um, and if you get anything out of any of the work that I do on any platform, you can give a um, donation here. You can also become a paid subscriber on my Substack, which is maxryan.substack.com. You become a paid subscriber there, which helps me in my work. And yeah, so let's open it up to questions or comments. Uh, anything about A Course in Miracles. There's no right or wrong answer or question. So, shoot, let's go. Tempest says true. Tiffany says amen from the back row. <laughs> I just said a whole bunch of shit. So if anything has come up for you, just write it down. Put it in the chat. I am a facilitator of conversations. I'm not a I'm I'm not a facilitator of <laughs> lectures. But yeah. Cat. Cat says, can you do more than one lesson a day? No. Nope. Nope. And do your best not to skip any days. Do one a day. Just like to you take your vitamins, one a day. And preferably at the same time. I think it's best in the morning. Some people think it's best when it's um when it is at the end of the day. But whatever you want to do. But do one a day. Make a commitment for a year. Lauren, can you talk more about religion preying on seekers? Yes. Well, religion, thank you, Lauren. Religion preying on seekers, and this is not a bad thing. It's been set up like that. Religion is part of the separated mind, the egoic mind. So instead of, and this is crazy, you already know. The truth of you knows what to do, what to say, how to say it, what, what move to make next or not to make any move. It already knows that. But in this egoic angel devil, dualistic mind, religions go, I have the answer and I'm going to tell you what it is. The Course of Miracles has principles, but it doesn't have any answers. So it's different, right? So it's different. It's principles. They're like principles. And it's, listen, I, it sounds like I'm bashing religion. I'm not bashing religion. I'm just saying that's a different, it's just different than what we're doing here. Okay. Thank you for the, hi, Kyrie, donation. Um, let's see. Wendy, hello. Do you recommend self-study or with a teacher? I have so many questions. I know. <laughs> well, also, let me tell you, there's another video that's how to study A Course in Miracles. Look at that up um, with Max Ryan. I personally, personally, ha um, because I've run so many groups, I run three groups right now, I'm thinking about starting a new group. I believe it's best when you do it in a group. And there are some people here, some people here, that are in my groups and they would agree that doing it on your own is really hard. That's all. You can do it on your own, people do it, but it's better in a group. Um, Richard, hello Richard. Do you ever read the book Gary Renard? Yes, of course I did. Yep, I read that book. Um, Wendy, do you also recommend any of the accompanying books? You? Oh, you mean the the supplements? Yeah, the, the text and the... When you get the new version, it has all of them in it. It has it all in it. Um, re, I, I tend, I watch that video, How to Study A Course in Miracles with Max Ryan. Look at that. Because I give you some, some pointers about how to read the book. Um, Tempa is one of my longtime students. Fantastic. Thank you. Francine. I would get it from the publisher themselves, um, which is just go to acim.org. You will get the, the real deal. Get get it there. You can get it other places, but acim.org, that's where I would get it. I think it's still the same price as like 30 years ago. I think it's $30. acim.org. Tiffany says, I will say it, do it with a teacher, but I hope one would do it with one they trust. Max is my continuous choice and one of the best decisions I've ever made. Thank you, Tiffany. I love you so much. Yeah, do it with a teacher. 
or somebody that knows. Now, I would say, will say this. There's tons of Course in Miracles groups. You can pick any of them. You can pick any of them. But I will tell you this. If it's like anything in life. If you don't feel comfortable with the teacher or what they're teaching or how they're teaching it and it seems wrong for you, find somewhere else. Just find something else. If you're not too comfortable with me, not everyone's like, you know, me. I mean, a match for me, then find somebody else. 